Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Onyani Guzman and our topic for today is Modeling Polynomials for Grade 10, Quarter 2. We will tackle problems that are all three-dimensional objects indicating that we now have the height in addition to the length and width. Here, we'll step by step go over the concepts you have learned the previous days and explore and solve difficulties together. The issues raised are ones that we can connect to in real-life situations. Let's consider problem number one. Micah has 3 feet by 4 feet by 5 feet rectangular block of ice that she wishes to shrink in size by shaving the equivalent amount of the length, width, and height. She intends to lower the ice block's volume to 24 cubic feet. What are the new ice block's dimension? Now, in order to solve this one, let's identify first the given. So, the given is 3 feet by 4 feet by 5 feet as the dimension and the volume is equal to 24 cubic and uh, feet. Now, so we will let x as the amount of ice to be shaded up and of course we want to find out the dimension of the new ice block. Now, we will start with the dimension. However, we will deduct x on each dimension. So we have here 3 minus x times 4 minus x times 5 minus x. And we will equate this to 24 as the volume. Now, we will distribute okay, 3 minus x to 4 minus x. So we will come up with 12 minus 7x plus x squared times 5x or 5 minus x is equal to 24. Now, so we will come up now here 60 minus 47x plus 12x squared minus x cubed is equal to 24 upon distributing 5 minus x to this expression 12 minus 7x plus x squared now we will move on to okay this equation by subtracting both sides of the equation by 24 so we will come up with 36 minus 47x plus 12x squared minus x cubed is equal to 0 then Again, we will rearrange this one. So by multiplying both sides of the equation by negative 1, so we will come up with x cubed minus 12x squared plus 4 to 7x minus 36 is equal to 0. Then, we will factor out now using our synthetic division. You can visit our lesson on the synthetic division. So we come up with the factors of x minus 1 times x squared minus 11x plus 36 is equal to 0. So since we have now the factor form of x minus 1 times x squared minus 11x plus 36 is equal to 0. So I will use now the 0 property. Okay, so I'll start with x minus 1 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 1. Now, notice that this expression is not factorable, so I will use now the quadratic formula such that I'll identify the value of a, b, and c. So, the numerical coefficient of x squared is 1, so that is why a is equal to 1, while b is equal to negative 11 here, and c is equal to 36. So, using the quadratic formula of x is equal to negative b, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So simply substitute the values of a, b, and c respectively. So we will come up with x is equal to 11 plus or minus the square root of negative 23 all over 2. Now, so if we will notice that the value of x here is imaginary number. So we will drop this value of x. So we will consider here that the value of x is equal to 1. So let's recall that the dimension of the new ice block is equal to 3 minus x times 4 minus x times 5 minus x. Substitute the value of x is equal to 1. So we have here 3 minus 1 
times 4 minus 1 times 5 minus 1. So therefore, we can say that it is actually 2 feet by 3 feet by 5 feet. So therefore, the dimensions of the new ice block is 2 feet by 3 feet by 5 feet. Let's consider problem number 2. A rectangular box has a width of W centimeters. The height is 2 centimeters less than the width. The length is 4 centimeters more than twice the width. If the volume of the box is 8 times the measure of the length, what are the dimensions of the box? So let's start from the given. So we have here W. We will let the width is equal to our W. The height is W minus 2. This is our representation. While the length is 2W plus 4. And according to the given, the volume is equal to 8 times 2 w plus 4 because this is 8 times the length and we want to know what are the dimensions of the prism or the box now so we'll start with length times width times height so that is equal to w times w minus 2 times 2 w plus 4 is equal to the volume and this is the volume and using the distributive property, I have here 16W plus 32 is equal to length times width times height. Then, okay, using the distributive property, W times W minus 2 is equal to W squared minus 2W times 2W plus 4 is equal to 16W plus 32. Simplifying it further, okay, Using the distributive property here, so I'll come up with W squared times uh, this expression, 2W plus 4, as well as negative 2W times the expression 2W plus 4. So we'll come up with 2W cubed minus 8W is equal to 16W plus 32. Next one. So, subtract both sides of the equation by negative 16w and 32. So, we'll come up with 2w cubed minus 24w minus 32 is equal to 0. Then, simplifying it further, dividing both sides of the equation by 2. So, I have w cubed minus 12w minus 16 is equal to 0. So, using the factoring method, okay, we can use the synthetic division. So, we'll come up with W plus 2 times W plus 2 times W minus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, now that we have the factor form that W plus 2 times W plus 2 times W minus 4 is equal to 0. Using now the zero property, equate W plus 2 is equal to 0. So, W plus 2 is equal to 0. The other factor also of W plus 2 is equal to 0. So, again, so W is equal to negative 2. On the other hand, W minus 4 equate this to 0. So, that is W is equal to 4. Notice that I cannot use W is equal to negative 2 as the value of the width because there is no width as negative 2. So therefore, we can say that the width is equal to W, which is equal to 4. Then the height is W minus 2. So substitute the value of W, which is equal to 4, minus 2 is equal to 2. Then the length is 2W plus 4. Substitute the value of uh, W, which is equal to 4. So we'll come up with 2 times 4 plus 4 is equal to 12. Now, so we can say that the dimension is equal to 12cn by 4cn by 2cn. Notice that I use the arrangement of length times width times height. So the length is 12, the width is equal to 4, and the height is equal to 2. So that ends our lesson. So again, this is Teacher on the Guzman. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.